Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to see how you can install the Google camera of any of your Android devices. So a lot of people have asked me question. So it is freely available uh, as APK and it can be downloaded and installed but there are some set of conditions that uh, I will let you guys know. So make sure to read this thing and watch this thing clearly. So first of all, uh, I do have published a lot of uh, you know videos of regarding the best camera apps that you can buy. So I do have a good one, but I eventually come down the Google camera and use because it's simple. It doesn't crash. It perfectly works and it's fully automatic. Auto HDR plus is really great. No need to think about that. So even though I have some few paid cameras like, you know, camera F5. So that's actually paid version. So yeah, guys, by, by the way, so I just bought that camera app free of cost from the Google Play Store. You can buy that too and make sure to watch that video how you can get the Android application, any of the apps and games free of course from the Google Play Store. This is actually due to a Google Play Store bug refund policy. So until then Google not fixing, you can get that. Now coming to the application, uh, how you can install the same on other Android devices like you have on the OnePlus 3. So I'll be showing you here how you can install on the OnePlus 3, right? So this is in front of me is OnePlus 3 which is running the Android Nougat beta. So things will be same. And yes, the Google, the latest version of the Google camera, you can only install if you have the latest Android OS because this is a stock camera. So it needs the latest Android OS. So this is the camera shortcut for the Google camera app. And to verify that, whether it is really Google camera or not. So going inside the setting, you can see, this is a 4.1 Google camera application. It's not installed from the Play Store. It is from the package installer. That means you have stalled as apk so it's really tough to read here right now you can read it so first of all you need to check your android version what is your running so go to about phone and verify that say it is running android nougat version because you want to need the same android version so i'm just going to the chrome here just type in on the google uh google camera apk once you have that and the latest Android version, you're running the latest camera app you will have and it will have more bug fixes. So probably you can go to the, uh, this uh, Google camera. So it will show you the latest one, uh, the latest current that is going on, I guess is the 4.2 that you should get. So let me just quickly verify. So if you go to the apps, the latest one we have 4.2.032. Okay. So, uh, they also give you the latest one so you can see there a lot of versions are running so click on this google camera google exclusive google camera and it will show you all the relevant possible things are there so uh, if you take the latest one so they need android 7.1 suppose your device is running android 7.1 then you should pick the latest one i will show you guys how so this since this is running the 7.0 so i will probably go to the september because at that time uh, it was android 7.0 so you have to read this clearly version so it needs android 7.0 plus so we have the android 7.0 and plus so you can install that and you also need the 64 bit or 32 bit since your device is running 64 bit uh, this is 64 bit os so you're gonna need this uh, this one here so once you click here it will take you to the download page and suppose you're running android 7.1 in future so you should take the, take the latest one so go download and download the apk then after that, go inside this security and setting. Turn down this allow unknown sources and install that. And you are good to go. You have the Google camera installed. Congratulations. Now, what is good in the Google camera? Why I prefer to use Google camera always? The first thing I like it about simplicity. Okay. That you can easily change a lot of resolutions. And uh, when you click on the video, I can pause it. Since you guys know that most of the videos I do film with the Google camera with my phones only, so I can easily pause it. If I compare the same with the stock OnePlus 3 camera, so it doesn't give me any pause option. Now I won't be comparing here right now, but in the video and audio quality, so you can see once I start filming, I cannot pause it that way. So that is biggest annoying because you know, sometimes you need to pause the situation and all. So this is the best thing I like it and some things are not working. I did try to check that. So slow motion is not working because this is a outdated camera. But we have a limitation. We cannot try the 7.1. It will give you incompatibility warning. So you cannot use it. Other things are working fine. So let's try out and take some camera sample and see which one you should like better. So I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to take the same with the 
stock camera for the oxygen anyway. so you guys can compare and see which camera you think is the better so if you really like the photo quality this is google camera and this is the stock camera so you can take that and also google camera makes the noise so pretty much you can see that this is my pixel And this is with the stock camera for the oxygen OS. so that's it guys pretty much a tutorial how you can install the google camera so you guys understand we need to make sure to check your uh, android version running then download the proper android version for any of your devices trying to install that so if you're running android uh, 6.0 so this there is also a version but that is quite old uh, it was android 3.2 something this is google camera 3.2 that's pretty much old you're not going to get many much feature and few other features you will get here like uh, you can see since this is all uh, you know you cannot get the all features like we have here uh, comparing you can get the latest one hdr is not there and some of the grid lines are not here you don't have this uh, uh, weather conditions control timer is not timer is here so the more the latest you will run you will get the latest version so that's it guys pretty much for this video and once your android was get updated so try to download the latest version so this is startup we'll catch you guys in the next video have a great day